difficult situation All these things keep coming back to me It's my situation Affecting me Writing these words in my car Hoping I don't drive too far off the road Well, these thoughts, they always come to me When I least expect them to I think about what might have been How I might have changed if I had been alone this is dangerous, this is dangerous, it's my situation, similar situation, all these things keep coming back to me, it's my situation, affecting me. That I swallow like a potion Frightened of the future And the past I may have wasted This is dangerous This is dangerous Seems I drift Disappear and float about. Everything reminds me of her, makes me sad, angry, and glad. I can't move away, but I can't get away from my situation. I can cry rape, but I cannot escape. All these things keep coming back to me It's my situation Affecting me And I don't drive too far off the road This is dangerous This is dangerous It's my situation It's my 
Hi everybody, I'm going to do the little guitar lesson now on how to play this song. Um, basically it's a bunch of hammer-ons. Open G string. And then a hammer-on on the... Uh, yeah. So it's like... I'm playing it very badly, which is uh, hopefully you can play it better. So it's an E minor seven with the uh, this ring finger, whatever that finger is called, middle finger, and that's a G chord. But what I've done is I've left the open A string right next to it. It's called the safe low limit, but I don't care. I mean, they say in you don't you don't want two notes too low that are too close to each other because it's too hard for the ears to decipher. But I actually really like that chord. And you have the, the G, the A, the D, the G. Getting basically a rich G chord with no third in it, but with the add nine throwing off the sexuality of the chord. And then there, it's basically like an E minor nine, except you don't play E minor. It's. I mean, really, the tonality is technically a G over B. If you're gonna, if you're gonna play it like folk singer style, we, like you know, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, your career should go in the sewer. That's how you would play it, but I, I try to do, instead of doing... Because that's very standard, I do this instead. Darkens it up a bit. It's essentially the same crap, but just a slightly more pleasant smell of crap. <clears throat> anyway, the, <clears throat> the, um, the out of the chorus... Station. Going into the bridge, I do this thing, which is a, I use this chord a lot. It's a B flat, that's the B flat there. Fifth, with an open G string, which creates a B flat six. And there's the out of tune, <laughs> third of the chord, and the open E string. I don't really know what that's called. I mean, it's a B flat six with a flat five. It's an A sus, it's A seven sus four. Seven, and then here I have to cheat because I don't have enough digits. That's supposed to be basically I'm going down chromatically, but I can't go. I can't play this chord with the A flat bass, so I cheat. So basically, on a, on one acoustic track, I think I was doing like. something like that and then on the electric track I probably uh, emphasize the A flat from the the bass part but anyway so what that is that's basically <clears throat> just a nice chord I mean all that is is just the D string open G string B string E very jazzy chord but with the A flat bass it leads nicely to the G and then they replace in my love that's just an, a very nice rich E minor 9 James Blunt type chords, although, I, geez, I can't believe I'm referencing him. I can't stand James Blunt. No offense to you blunters. Anyway, and then the last thing I want to show you is the very last chord. It's my situation affecting one. That's basically an F chord with a lot of uh, sixes and nines in it. The only third of the chord is way down low. Again, the safe low limit. So that's F, A, D, G, C, G. So that's the root, the first, the third, the sixth, the ninth, the fifth, the nine. Nice chord. You can do a variation of that if you want to be more jazzy. Sorry, I changed the finger. I should have done that. You can just take the pinky finger off and play the open E string. Get a nice major seven with the add nines and sixes in there. It's very 
very rich. I finger it like this. It's easier for my hand. You can also cheat and do this, just like you would do a G chord. That's kind of pretty. Anyway, and uh, to close off, I'm going to show you something. Uh, speaking of this, I've got a chord I want to show you that uh, I, I've always wanted to use in a song, but I never have. Maybe you can. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty dissonant. It's very similar to this. What I do is with my thumb, I make sure the top, the bottom two notes are suppressed. And then with my index finger, I take the top two strings and fill them up. So I end up with... Very Richie, yeah, uh, Richie Havens, but not Richie Valens. <laughs> la 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 Listen to this chord. How sweet is that chord? I love that bloody chord. How nice is that? See that? I mean, it kills your hand. So I want to see you all this week go and write a song with this chord in it. Good night, everybody.